Hi East Africa Social Television. I think I am so done with people thinking that Zuchi is the reason why Diamond and Tanasha broke up. Like seriously? Seriously? Like Zuchi, I don't think that she even is close to the type that Diamond dates. Like you guys all know that Diamond loves the them brown, brown skin girls. Brown skin, lazy, slayers, long nails. Yeah. This girl is very hardworking. She's trying to get a career of herself. She's my skin color, chocolate color girl. So let's stop this fuzz. People are like, was Zuchi the cause of Diamond and Tanasha's uh, breakup? Singers even come clean. She's like, you guys, shut up. After Diamond Platinum and Tanasha split, many rumors as to why they broke up. Of course, were released. One was that the Tanzanian superstar had cheated on his baby mama with his new WCB record signee, Zuchi. As of now, we still don't know the truth of why the power couple actually split because none of them talks about it. They say irreconcilable dis differences, CG, Wule and Ataka, something else. Now, this one also an attack or something else. So they were like, you know what? This relationship is not going to work. But, mm, we the rumor mongers think there is something deep that they have not yet told us. Hope one time they get over it and share what exactly happened. Yeah, but they are playing your song, Kase Pichi. Uh, so, back to the topic, guys. Zuchi has come out to tell us that she was not responsible for the end. So the talkers, please stop the rumors. By the way, the rumors spread or started when she was spotted shopping with Daman Platinum soon after he was, uh, and soon after she was unveiled as the first female signee on Daman Platinum's record label. So. The budding female bongo artist made the headlines soon after her un being unveiled by Wasafi team, additionally being alleged to be the Corona's girl. And just the fact that they were riding into Tanasha's car and spending lots and lots of shopping using Diamond's card. Well, it's something that Zuchi came out to clear. She was like, look here, guys, everyone who is new to WCB is taken for shopping. So can you hate us? Just shut up. <laughs> she spoke to a Tanzanian publication revealing that she had foreseen such kind of reports getting thrown her way prior to her unveil being unveiled at WCB. The singer explained that she had been warned by her mom on what would happen and she is very prepared for it. I was warned by mother that people can lead will lead me astray and stop me from achieving my dreams. Don't believe everything that's being said because there is freedom of expression. And people say exactly whatever nonsense they want. I was not involved in Tanasha's relationship with Daman. I'm at Wasafi for work only. And also I got signed after she left. The dark skin musician added that she had unrealized dreams that no man was going to prevent her from getting to. Now, according to her, she's still young and time for dating will eventually come. Just not now. I'm not dating anyone and I am not interested. I need to pursue my dreams and don't have time for people who want to break my heart. Most importantly, I respect all my bosses at WCB and I also respect Daman and Tanasha and Daman respects me too. He has never asked me to do anything that is out of work. Wow, go girl. Girl. But I think Diamond loves money so much. He cannot, there's no way he's going to mix this jobo with, with any other hopeless situation. If he has an artist under his wing, he's going to take that very serious because at the end of the day, he knows if they start dating, then the girl will become stupid and not take the job serious. And Diamond loves his money. Trust you me. Let these guys work. I trust she's just going to work. My name is Juliana. You can also leave your comments in the comment section. That's just my thoughts. And it's the East Africa Social Television. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Shit.